So uh, case analyses are very critical parts of, uh, of most MBA programs. And uh, it's, they represent a pretty important part of things that are going on, uh, going to go on in our class. Uh, so uh, when we think about writing up a, a case in general, there's, there's two ways uh, to do it. Uh, uh, one is, is called the drill down method and the other is called integration. The drill down method is one where we uh, will read the case and we're going to drill down and drill down and drill down and try to find the answer that's presented in the case. You know, the strength of, of case studies is that uh, they're real world um, and you put yourself in the place of uh, the manager or management team uh, depicted in the case and hopefully try to understand how they made their decision and whether it was successful or not. The other method is called the integration method. The integration method uh, says that after you read the case, you're trying to find something in the case that is similar to something else that you've either read, like another case, an <clears throat> excuse me, another case, uh, perhaps a, uh, an article in Business Week, or something that's going on at work. In other words, you try to integrate what you learn from one case into uh, another situation. Uh, there's strengths and weaknesses to both uh, methods, uh, and we're going to use the integrative method here to try to find uh, integrated uh, elements across the multiple cases that we uh, cover in this class. The general write-up of a case study starts with a title page, which is a one page long, introduction and background, which is three pages, the integration elements themselves, that's the most important part of, of the write-up, the better your integration, the better your grade, uh, one uh, page of takeaways, and then supporting material if needed. Okay, so what's the title page? Uh, you put the case title or titles, if there's multiple uh, cases, you're going to write up a single write-up for all the cases that were due or were assigned to you that day. Only one write-up. I want a list of all the team members. I want your team name, or in this case, an, a team, team number, the due date, and the primary author. The primary author is pretty important. The primary author is usually the last person who touches a document before they turn it in. So if I have trouble opening the document or something didn't go right, I'll know who to contact to get another copy of the document or clarification of, of kind of what happened. Next comes uh, the introduction and background. Uh, this is uh, an important part that says, okay, this is uh, uh, how the company makes money, what their strategy is, what business they're in. Uh, just in general, tell me about the company. Now, this is independent of, of IT, independent of anything. Tell me about the company. And it's hard to do that without actually talking about the industry as well. I need you to briefly discuss today's theme. Each learning module in our class has a theme associated with it. It's right in the syllabus. It's right next to the, the learning module for that, uh, that week. So I need you to, dis to discuss what the theme is. Top management, uh, not top management, sorry, uh, uh, information architecture, re-engineering, privacy. Those are the themes um, for, uh, to d for our class. Finally, describe the role of the information systems function in the company, uh, specifically uh, how IT is used um, to help the, car the firm do whatever it is uh, they're trying to do. Okay, the important part is the integration. You're going to have between four and six uh, integrative elements or integration points in the class. And the integration is uh, a, a some topic that is present in the case that you are assigned. And uh, you're going to find other examples of that uh, in the other cases, and I need between four and six different uh, integrative elements. Um, you'll need to go into some pretty good detail about uh, how, uh, for example, top management support was seen at Mrs. Fields Cookies and also was seen at Procter & Gamble, for example. As I said, the better your integration, the better your grade. Okay, so here are the pieces of, uh, of, of a case write-up. You're going to have uh, over on the left all of the Harvard Business Review cases that, uh, uh, that are part of what you do. 
in the, the packet for this for today. There's the today's cases. That's the ones that you've been assigned. Uh, you have the theme for the day. That's the learning module theme. And then you've got between four and six integrative uh, elements, integration points uh, listed at the bottom. Okay, so how do you start? The preparation. Each team member should read all the cases. That's right. You have to read all the cases. Then each team member should be responsible for in-depth reading of a certain subset of those cases. We'll call that person the subject matter expert. And for the cases to be written up, uh, you assign a primary author, the person who's in charge of writing the thing. Okay, the process is you first get together, either electronically or face-to-face, -face if that's available to you, uh, to discuss today's theme. Okay, uh, make sure you understand what the theme is, because if you come up with integration points that don't have anything to do with the theme, then um, that integration point doesn't really count. So using the theme and the cases that you've been assigned, identify four to six elements that are common across uh, all of the, those cases and find examples uh, for each of the integration points. Each of those examples should have um, six or more examples. I, I, I'll, I'll take between four and six uh, examples within uh, each integrative element. That means if you... Uh, for example, choose top management support as your integration point, then you need to come up with six examples, four to six examples of top management support in other cases. Be sure and take some time in each integrative element to define or talk about uh, the integration point itself before you start looking for examples. Make sure I understand what you think that integration point is all about. Okay, so let's look at an example. Let's say that, that the learning module um, theme for, uh, for your case is information architecture. Well, you need to understand, you know, kind of what is information architecture. And then you're going to uh, start looking for um, integrative elements, top management support, for example. And ask yourself, is top management support, what is top management support, and why is it important information architecture? That's, that's a huge first step. Okay, looking at today's cases, let's say uh, you were assigned both Mrs. Fields and Encyclopedia Britannica, you're going to start looking and say, all right, is top management support as its related information architecture evident in Encyclopedia Britannica? Is it evident in Mrs. Fields Cookies? And then we start looking at the other Harvard Business Review cases, uh, and we ask ourselves, okay, is it in HEB? Uh, do I see examples in Royal Caribbean and Providian, in Siemens, and in Dell? Now, uh, keep in mind, we only write up case studies. We, even though it says on this slide, uh, articles, uh, that's kind of a, uh, not right. It, we only write up cases. So if, it, if in your readings it's called a note, sometimes called a research note, if it's called an article, uh, you don't write that up. It's only the Harvard uh, Business Review cases uh, uh, or, or cases that we bought from Harvard that are uh, written up. Okay, uh, the last big part of your paper has to do with takeaways. A takeaway is a, a very uh, short, um, uh, succinct thing that you learned from the case. You need to be very, very specific about it. Uh, help me understand how the takeaways relate to the case. Um, you, you're looking for four to five of those uh, uh, in each write-up. Uh, think about a case as something you're, you're stuck in an elevator with uh, your boss and she asks, you know, uh, what are you learning in that MBA program? Well, you're able then to, to say in the two or three sentences, four sentences max, what it is you've learned. And uh, that's what a takeaway is. Takeaways are not related to the integration elements. Uh, they, they're simply the takeaways, the learnings from the case. If you used any material outside of the case, uh, what we'd call supporting material, things found on the internet, uh, uh, articles from Business Week, whatever, then you need to cite that and just uh, include that at this point. Properly uh, cite all of your work. All right, that's it. It's, it, it's not as, as daunting as it may seem. I uh, just need a little structure in your team and off you go. The key is reading all the cases and then becoming an expert in a subset. If you have any questions, send me an email.